Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Poiggy here getting ready to take out the German 1.3 HE-112 V5 in Air Arcade. In the plus column for this aircraft, we have its speed. It's uh, very fast for a 1.3, very fast. Um, other thing is the fire rate on the guns is really good. In the negative column, we have the fact that it's not a turn fighter. You shouldn't be turning with anybody in it. And the fact that there's only two guns. So best way to play this is, is, is as an energy fighter. Um, essentially just, you know, keep your speed up, take some sweeping passes at the enemy and then kind of reset, save that energy and go in for another pass. So let's take it out and see what we can do. All right. We have an air dom. Uh, we're taking our stealth ammo, 800 meter targeting distance, minimum fuel load. We did just get the engine injection on this. So that'll be a huge help in the air dom. We're going to climb slightly off center at 30 degrees with the weapon. See who we're up against. So one three two three match full up tier for us. You can actually tell by the maps at one zero oh and one three. Well, one three I should say. If it's anything other than Corson and Rur, you have an up tier. I like air domes. Uh, second favorite to airfield caps in Air Arcade. Those are by far my favorite. This one works pretty damn good though. So, best thing for trying to win this is to be the person with the highest altitude. Uh, best way to get kills is just go down into the fur ball that's going to start up under the A cap there towards the ground and shoot the shit at them. It's usually less important to me that I win the game than that I go out and do some damage, get some kills. Got to get some enjoyment out of this game, and that's how I prefer to play. So, so on the first pass here, we're just going to let anybody who doesn't come after us go by. That way we just get our energy up, up, and up. I-16 doesn't look like he wants us to pass. See if he goes after us or our buddy. Looks like us. So we'll just drag him over this way. Waiting for that H-75 to go take a few shots at him. H-75 has other plans. That happens. And managed to get himself shot up a little bit. All right, he finally turned off. Let's go back over. The minute he turned, he lost some energy, so we're happy to go fight him now. So Nimrod's a good target, he's at energy. Regretting his choices, we'll go ahead and do a steep climb out. Watching that I-15 behind us. He buggered off, which means we can turn back. We'll just keep an eye for any of these guys who climb after us. We want that I-15 to uh, stay focused on the SB-2. He does that. There we go. He came back. So just try to avoid and fly away. We'll get some shots at us here. Just try not to get hit too much. So I both did a little bit of damage to each other. I can live with that. Last thing we want to do is turn with this guy. He'll just chew us up. So 
it starts firing like that, just adjust your position. You should do fine. Alright, he turned off. Let's go back in. So when you're energy fighting, the biggest thing is you get to choose when and where to fight. So like that I-15, we could have flipped around and tried to shoot him down, or we could have dragged him out like we did. Wait for him to do something that's not in his best interest. Like turn around. And come back at him. So, I wish our whip would jump in here. I want to try and climb stall him. They are super light aircraft, so hard to go. I think we should get him here. He's out of energy. There we go. So by dictating when and how the battle takes place or the fight with somebody just gives you a huge advantage. Alright, we're way too high for anybody else on their team, so we're going to start doing our descent. Try to make ourselves attractive to one of these guys uh, to climb stall for us. I think we can probably get that I-15 who just respawned to do it. I think that's who we shot down. in there. We've got plenty of energy. Should not be a concern. Just gotta figure out when to come back in. There we go. He's had energy. Same lesson over again. Actually, he'll learn. Alright, HE-51 has an interest in us. We're just gonna do our reload and then we'll flip back on him. Make it look like we're coming in after him, and then just climb back up. That's going to get whatever bit of energy he had left out of him. Looks like we should have done it one more time. He has to be out of energy now. Yep, yeah, he's definitely out of energy. Let's raise our flaps up. Look at who we're dealing with. Alright, so I think it's time for us to go ahead and dive in. Just get some more action. Eventually they're going to learn not to come up to us out of their spawn. Give you one of those back gunners. Need him to go away, thank you. Did make our engine orange, which isn't good. Sacrifices must be made. Let's go ahead and dive on these two and then we'll head over to uh, where the fur ball's happening. Should be catching them no problem. One down. Check this I 15. Down. We're just going to change our speed into altitude. And head back in. F2A and a BF2. A few guys coming in. Our speed's not real good. That engine damage is going to get us, but let's see if we can get a few before that happens. Alright, my 15's first. Most troublesome little guys. Gladiator looks like he's thinking about us. Yeah, he is. So when you get a guy like that, you just drag him over towards your spawn. One of your teammates will figure it out. There we go, I-15, put the hurt on him. 
part of the reason he did that was because we made it as easy as possible for him to uh, help us out. So don't just sit on the other side of the map and get frustrated that nobody's helping you. If you want help, make it easy for him to help you. Go back towards your own spawn. Hang him up in the air if you can. Collisions right now. Fifteen. Good hits. Again, I'm taking a lot more risk here because our engine was screwed, but yeah, we survived it. Alright, so really good game on that one. I do love air doms. We ended up with 12 kills, one assist. We got Hero of the Sky, we got Survivor, so most kills without dying, and we got the Japanese camouflage. Nice. And uh, first place on the team. God, this guy did good too. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch on next one. America! Fuck yeah! To save this fucking day, yeah! Beautiful.